Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So if you have watched the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I do have a mild, a mild coffee addiction. And as a result, I'm drawn towards studies that look into coffee, caffeine and health and well-being. This latest study out of Johns Hopkins looks into caffeine or coffee consumption and acute kidney injury. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this latest study on coffee has got to offer. This is a review of a study that was conducted by the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and was published in the journal Kidney International Reports, which shows a correlation between coffee consumption and acute kidney injury. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you'll know to date I've created seven separate videos all showing the benefits of drinking coffee, whether that's because of the caffeine or because of coffee's many other active compounds. The negatives that have been published only seem to revolve around disrupted sleep, and that could be resolved by drinking decaf. But if seven studies aren't enough, maybe for you eight is the magic number. If it is, you'll want to know about this recent study by Johns Hopkins Medicine researchers that revealed consuming at least one cup of coffee a day may reduce the risk of acute kidney injury, known as AKI, when compared to those who did not drink coffee at all. The findings of this latest study that were published in the journal Kidney International Reports showed that those who drank any quantity of coffee every day had a 15% lower risk of acute kidney injury. The largest reductions were seen in the group who drank two to three cups a day. They showed a 22 to 23% lower risk. If you've watched my previous coffee study videos, you'll know that nearly all show the coffee sweet spot for the more positive outcomes is also between two to three cups of coffee per day. Dr. Chirag Parikh, MD, PhD, the Director of the Division of Nephrology and a Professor of Medicine at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine said, we already know that drinking coffee on a regular basis has been associated with the prevention of chronic and degenerative diseases, including type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease and liver disease. We can now add a possible reduction in AKI risk to the growing list of health benefits for caffeine. But what is acute kidney injury and over what time scale does it build up? Acute kidney injury, as defined by the National Kidney Foundation, is a sudden episode of kidney failure or kidney damage that happens within a few hours or a few days. This causes waste products to build up in the blood, making it hard for the kidneys to maintain the correct balance of fluids in the body. So how can you tell if you are suffering from acute kidney injury? Unfortunately, the symptoms of acute kidney injury differ depending on the cause. They may include the following. Feel free to pause the video and to check them out in more detail. The disorder is most commonly seen in hospitalized patients whose kidneys are affected by medical stress and or other complications. Using data from the Atherosclerosis Risk in the Community study, which is an ongoing study of cardiovascular disease in four U.S. communities, the researchers assessed 14,207 adults who were recruited between 1987 and 1989 with a median age of 54. The participants were surveyed seven times over a 24-year period as to the number of eight-ounce cups of coffee they consumed per day and categorized as either zero, one, two or three a day or more than three cups per day. During the survey period, there were 1,694 cases of acute kidney injury recorded. The researchers accounted for demographic characteristics, socioeconomic status, lifestyle influences and also dietary factors. They found there was a 15% lower risk of acute kidney injury for those participants who consumed any amount of coffee versus those who consumed none at all. 
even when adjusting for additional comorbidities such as blood pressure, BMI, diabetes status, use of antihypertensive medication and overall kidney function, the individuals who drank coffee still had an 11% lower risk of developing acute kidney injury when compared to those who chose to abstain from coffee. Professor Parrick said, we suspect that the reason for coffee's impact on AKI risk may be that either biologically active compounds combined with caffeine or just the caffeine itself improves perfusion and oxygen utilization within the kidneys. Good kidney function and tolerance to AKI is dependent on a steady blood supply and oxygen. Dr. Parrick went on to say more studies are needed to define the possible protective mechanisms of coffee consumption for the kidneys, especially at the cellular level. Caffeine has been postulated to inhibit the production of molecules that cause chemical imbalances and use too much oxygen in the kidneys. Perhaps caffeine helps the kidneys maintain a more stable system. Dr. Parrick and his colleagues noted that coffee additives such as milk, half and half, creamer, sugar and or sweeteners also could influence acute kidney injury risk and most certainly warrant further investigation. Additionally, the authors say the consumption of other types of caffeinated beverages such as tea or soda should also be considered as a possible confounding factor. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I've made some notes by way of a summary. So another study that now looks like the sweet spot for the benefits of drinking coffee or caffeinated drinks is between two and three cups a day. As I said, this is now the age study and it looks as though the only downside seems to be uh, disrupted sleep. I know that if I drink coffee after 3, 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon, my deep sleep is particularly uh, affected. I know, no, it's now 10 to 2. This will be the last drop of coffee I drink today before I make a pot of decaf that's going to see me through into the early evening. Uh, let me know in the comments below, having now seen these studies, and as I say, there's probably more out there, are you thinking about or do you already include coffee as part of your healthy lifestyle?